This is, was one of the key pictures in my big Smithsonian show in 1987. And it, the show was a big deal, I sometimes say, and I think it's true. Um, it was the biggest thing in my career, not the biggest thing in my life, that's marrying Birgit, of course, but the biggest thing in my career. It's a six foot wide painting, four feet high. Um, once again, the typical, the genesis of the painting, I was driving on that trip uh, with Birgit and little baby Robbie and Christopher to, from Vancouver to Banff. I, I, I slightly take pride in myself in, and of course it's a professional thing that I do, in stopping at the most hopeless, uh, not, it isn't hopeless to me, but nobody would, wh why is that guy stopped beside the road with his camera? There must be something there. No. There's just a neat pattern of snow in a, possibly an esker, a gravel bar. Um, and I just love that pattern. So I just took, I had that picture then that in, in my mind. And th this is what gives the whole painting, a term I use when I give workshops is virus similitude. It's a Latin word, which loosely translated means the ring of truth. You know, I, I th hope you just know or feel, I couldn't think that up. I don't think anybody could think up the way those branches of rabbit brush grow and what happens when you have a bit of a snowfall that's melted a little bit in one of those pebbly embankments. What happens to the white shapes and the dark shapes? You can't make that up out of your head. Uh, made up and cooked up is something I don't like. I hate it when I see it in my own work, which I sometimes do, and I don't respect it when I see it in other people's work if they're, if they're painting supposedly realism, and they cook it up. To me, it's a sign of laziness. I wanted a completely boring gray sky. And uh, so I put him there against the sky. The noble animal that's normally treated as a pest and, and looked down upon and poisoned and all that kind of thing. To top it off, I tossed in some litter. I tossed in a beer can. And I put that in there because it's part of our countryside now. And it shows disrespect.